All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Hawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And I shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, as you can see, breaking news, breaking news. Um, Elder Apostle Tahar mentioned it uh, yesterday. Um, Russia officially has um, declared a draft. All right, he's um, Putin is allegedly calling. I think it's three hundred thousand mobilizing three hundred thousand troops, and these are going to be um, men that have prior military experience. Man, okay, um, you know reserves, people that have fought in, fought in wars before. All right, uh, here it says Russia calls up reservists. 300,000 additional troops to be mobilized, all right? So things are getting hot and heavy, hot and heavy, big, hot and heavy. Beautiful times that we're living in. Beautiful times for the elect, uh, horrific times for the uh, two-thirds, okay? All right, so um, I'm, I'm not going to make this long. A couple of videos, I'm gonna, uh, a couple of scriptures I'm going to bring out, Salakia. My, my damn allergies are killing me today, Salakia, <laughs> so... um. But uh, Lord's will, I could get through this, I, and uh, I don't want to watch this out to be edifying. But um, um, what was I gonna say? So like it slipped my mind. Oh, uh, as we all know, Elder Apostle Tahar constantly um, brings out the point that uh, the Third's Woe is not gonna take place yet. The Third World's War is not gonna take place yet until that karagma, that MOTB, is made mandatory. Okay, so we know that's the main prophecy that we're. Um, uh, looking to come to pass, okay? But as you can see, things are getting hot and heavy. And I've been watching, uh, listening to various uh, news news um, agencies or whatever, and they're trying to make it seem as if uh, Putin is scared and he's losing the war, which he's not losing. They're, you know, they're lying. They're, they're spinning the narrative. What he's showing is, is uh, he's not afraid at all. And that basically he's saying wh wherever he's annexed, we'll go look that word up, annexed, He's um, saying that they're willing to defend it, all right? That's what he's, he, he's, he's, um, he's, he's being braggadocious, and he's not, he's not turning down. He's turning up. Turned down for what? Putin is turning up, okay? And we all know a draft is coming <laughs> worldwide, man, because all these nations are about to go to war, all right? Including America, Babylon the Great. A draft will be Im implemented right here, okay? But right now it's just a partial draft, okay? But things are getting hot and heavy, and he's doing it because wherever he's annexed, he's saying, I dare you to take it back. We're going to defend it, you know, with, with the full strength, okay, you know. So a couple of scriptures um, that I'm going to bring out and I'll close out straight to the point. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 4, the noise of a multitude in the mountains like as, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. That's the Lord, Yahweh Shai, gathering these nations to the valley of Yahweh Shapat for the third's woe. All right. We're in these times, man. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like, and that's ultimately also talking about the nukes, the missiles, the arrows that are going to be shot out, shot off, um, shot off, shot out from them silos, man. The Lord's arrows, ICBMs. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like, a, like as of a great people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. For what? For war. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shai, mustereth the host of the battle. Because we're not in the time of peace, we're in the time of war. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai is about to wage war against the heathens and two-thirds of his own people. All right? Uh, this is Joel chapter 3. Um, I don't want to make it long. Start at 9, 3 and 9. It says, Proclaim me this among the Gentiles, uh, the other nations. The other 17 nations prepare war. Yeah, well, that's the time. It's a time for everything. And we're in a time of war. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. The third's woes are brewing. The second woe uh, pass. The third woe cometh quickly. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. 
And that's why he, that's why he implemented a, a draft <laughs> for the reserves. All the men that had proprietary military experience, hey, he, he, he's calling you to arms, all right? And it's going to be a global thing. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourself together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, Yahweh's, de Yahweh's decision. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And that's what times we're living in. Beautiful times. The third woe is quickly approaching. But like, like Elder Apostle Tahar says, it's not going to um, fully pop off yet until that karagma is made mandatory. And that date we're, that we're right there at the door to our temptation. Salakia. Salakia. Like I said, my allergies, man. Um, so I'm going to close out here. Ezekiel 38. All right. It says uh, Ezekiel 38 and 1. And the word of the Lord Jehovah came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. That's talking about Russia. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him and say, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Yeah, Yahweh Bashim Shai is bringing that old USSR spirit back in uh, Russia. Okay, you see? And, um, you know, things are getting hot and heavy, baby. You know, <laughs> beautiful times. And Putin uh, is braggadocious, man, you know. <laughs> and I will turn thee back in that cold war. We're in that time, man. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them. Hey, he, he called in the draft. <laughs> and all thine army, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, and all of them handling swords. Because ultimately, it's a third's woe. And you remember, there's a balance of power. Okay, you got the West versus the so-called East. All right. And and Russia, Gog and Magog is, isn't alone. He's got allies, man, a lot of allies. And these allies are powerful and strong, i.e., uh, uh, it's a Persia, which is um, Iran. You got um, which has all these nations have nuclear capabilities. Um, you got uh, 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 China, you see. So, hey, man, it's about to get nasty. Salakia, I got to blow my nose against Salakia. Yeah, I can't wait till we get chains out of these bodies, man. We need saving, man. We need saving, man. Anyway, our, our Savior, is, is, our Redeemer is nigh, man. The Lord's will be of that number. So um, it says, um, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and will bring thee forth all, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, which is like I said, Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet because they're going to war. And the, he's mustering the host of the battle, right? Gathering everybody, you know? Ultimately, to the to the um, the Valley of Hawashapat over there in the Levant, okay? Over there by the Strait of Hormuz, you know? It says, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared. And he's been prepared. Russia's been prepared. They've been pouring an innumerable amount of money, time, and energy into their military um, uh, program, you know? And, and they show it off. Satan, one, two, three, four, five, six, and sevens. S4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hundreds, okay? And he, they've been selling them, selling their arms to all their allies, okay? And, uh, and, and you know, and um, building up their nuclear, nuclear arms, okay? You see? So it says, be thou prepared. And who are they prepared against? The West, okay? Chiefly the beast, NATO and the EU. And we know America is the whore that rides the beast. And ultimately, America's allies are going to turn upon her. They're gonna, the, the, the beast is going to turn upon the whore and burn her with fire. You see? Beautiful times. Things are getting hot and heavy, baby. It says, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Thou and all thy company. Yeah, he ain't fucking around. He's, he's, he's telling you, he's letting you know what time it is. We, you know, we, we in the time of war, okay? Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them, okay? That's what Russia's doing, you see? 
Beautiful times. Beautiful, beautiful times, man. Beautiful. That's, I think that's the point. All right. I don't want to make it long, but that's what's going on. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Joel 3. Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. P Putin's doing that, baby. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. He's implementing a draft. And a draft is going to come right here to Babylon the Great. All these other nations are going to implement drafts. Prepare war. Wake, and, and we know um, they have to implement a draft because uh, knowledge, technology has increased. So, so um, hey, man, <laughs> that, that, sword, that sword, which is a killing instrument, has been perfected. The modern day sword, we ain't fighting with shield and bucklers and arrows and spears. You know, we we talking about drones and AI and all type of a hey, technology has increased. That sword, Esau Edom has perfected that sword, you know, so the men are going to drop like flies. That's why we know a draft is coming and not just for the men, but also the women. All right. America was already talking about that. Babylon was talking about draft and women because that's the reality. That's the times we're heading into. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. He's calling all the reserves, man, 300,000 of them, all right? And he's got the citizens on on, on, uh, on standby, okay? You see? To, to defend anywhere they annex, all right? Whatever they take back, they're saying, I dare you to come and take it from us, okay? It's going to be bloodshed and violence. Ultimately, <laughs> it's going to lead to that, that third's woe in the, in, in, in the, in the, uh, the Valley of Hawashapat in the Middle East. Prepare war, okay? Wake up the mighty men. That's why they've been running non-stop military drills, joint military drills, you see, you know. Um, China been building up in the, what's that, the Pacific Islands over there, building up uh, man-made islands, military bases and shit, because that's the time they're in. Ultimately, they, they know who the problem is. The problem is the West and the, and, and, and the, the, and the, what, the chief, uh, the, the bully on the block is, is Babylon, okay, you see. You see, and, and once uh, this war fully pop off and, and hell break, all hell breaks loose, all your allies, all they, they that eat thy bread have laid a deadly wound. They have deceived thee. Your terribleness have deceived you. All right. You see, the, the ham of the earth is about to be put down. Proclaim me this uh, among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. You see, beautiful times, beautiful times, beautiful, beautiful times, baby. Hey, man, keep pushing. We're close. We're close. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep watching as well as praying, you know, you know, and repenting, offending as, as least as possible. Put on as the elect. All right. Shalom. Wa abad babor. Kwam nesharala.